Space Marine 2 was my very last appointment of Gamescom and probably the highlight for me of Gamescom. I loved this one hour demo I got to play, one hour mission. Titus is back and he's better and more badass than ever. So yes, a one hour demo played on PC. Let's start with a few negatives. A uh, performance was definitely a factor for me. The FPS dropped considerably uh, when I was playing. This could be the PC getting hot, obviously optimization. We don't even have a proper release date for the game yet. So I'm sure that'll be ironed out over time. But yeah, it's a very pretty, a very demanding game. And it definitely wasn't a flat 60 FPS. So the whole campaign can be played in co-op. You have two Space Marines with you. And I'll touch on that in a second. Uh, but yeah, we have no release date. It's still winter 2023, early 2024. We're not quite sure. They didn't really confirm that. Um, also, no information about outside of the single player and co-op. Is there anything else? Is there any multiplayer? Is there any PvP? Hopefully that will be announced at some point. But I have a feeling, uh, based on the responses, it, this is going to be a single player only game. That's the feeling I get. It, it's not a fact, but yeah. Titus is back, and I'm really excited for something that happens in this cutscene that I can't mention, but 40k fans will be, will be very, very happy. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. Also, I like the the nuances in the cutscenes. There was, it almost thought, I almost thought the, the game was broken at one point. There was long, eerie pauses. And sometimes it takes a lot to put a pause into a cutscene, and these pauses were so strong. Why was the pause there? Well, uh, Gadriel, one of the space marines that accompanies you uh, in a co-op or single player, was basically being a little bit, how do I pull it? <laughs> Ageist, <laughs> I guess you could say. So the two space marines are Primus, they're the, the, the new space marines, and Titus is a more of an old school space marine. So he was getting a little bit like, oh, he's just a space marine. Why is he a lieutenant? A little bit of jealousy was definitely kicking in there and a little bit of disrespect. So there might be some issues there in the future, but it's really cool to see, love the tension. I mean, these are space marines. They've seen so much war and conflict. They're all badasses, but Titus is a step above in my opinion. So I'm excited to see how that relationship works with our other space marine buddies, our comrades, our brothers. They're supposed to be brothers. And by the way, when you're doing the gameplay, you see them kicking ass. The AI kicks ass in this game. Space Marines, the scale and the, the visuals, the, the graphics in this game are just incredible. You've got the Cadian Imperial Guards. They feel so tiny and they're so pleased to see the Space Marines. Not many people in life in this universe would ever see a Space Marine. So when they see you, they are very thankful. Despite the situation they're in, they are like, thank the Emperor, thank you Space Marines, Titus, save us please. And there's hordes upon hordes of Tyranids. I've never seen so many just enemies on the screen. It's just unbelievable. Grenades are going to be important. Heavy bolters are back and they really pack a punch. I used a melter gun at one point, which has very slow reloading, but it just wipes them out. It just takes them out a big blast radius and it just kicks ass. At first you start with a sort of simple blade. And then you get the chainsaw. The chainsaw is back. Ah, oh. and a new sort of, um, I guess, not a gimmick. I'm going to say it's called a gimmick, but it's a new addition to the game, which definitely changes up the gameplay quite a bit. It's the parry button. So LB on the controller or L1. So if someone's coming towards you, you can simply press LB. Uh, for example, like a, a normal Tyranid, like a, one of the claws, you know, the, the base Tyranid you see in the gameplay, just grabs it rips the head off, rips it in two, slams him into the ground, basically catches them mid-air and just goes, Pff, ah. <laughs> it's so, so cool to witness. And it's just gory as hell. Executions are back. That was also in the previous game. By the way, if you haven't played the original Space Marine game, you can probably buy it so cheap and it's such a good game. It's like a five hour, four hour game, but it's so, so good. I recommend checking it out. Or just watch my gameplay. I've, I've uploaded it somewhere. Definitely watch or play Space Marine 1. In case you guys aren't quite aware of what the Tyranid threat is, I would describe it as this universe's virus. It just wants to wipe everybody out. And you get that sort of desperation from the Imperial Guards. They are 
desperately, they're worried, they are concerned. You can hear it in the, in the voice. Titus, the Space Marines, obviously speak with confidence, but they know how incredible, how, how incredibly dangerous this threat is. Uh, honestly, in the currently in the 40k law, there's a big battle between the Tyranids and the Space Marines, the Imperium, and they're losing. <laughs> Put it that way, the last big battle, the Space Marines lost, the Ultramarines lost. So it's a little bit embarrassing. So we are the first response. We are the Marines that drop down. There's a big group of Space Marines. I think it might be about eight or six. I'm not quite sure. It might be six, actually. We split off into two groups. Obviously, Titus, uh, Gadriel, and then someone else comes along. Again, you can play the whole campaign in co-op if you want to. Again, I'm struggling to really find any negatives. Visually, it's one of the prettiest games I've ever played. This feels like what sequels should be. It's stepping up the first game. Of course, there's, com there's comparisons between that game and this game, of course. But graphics, the gameplay, the amount of enemies on the screen. I do miss the Yorks quite a bit. They, they were quite funny in the first game, uh, quite comical. They're not quite as, Tyrannies aren't quite as, um, they haven't really got any personality. They're just hordes upon hordes of Tyranids, and it is terrifying. When you see like another horde coming, you're like, oh no, your health's a little bit low, you don't really have much ammo, and you're just a bit, you're just a little bit concerned about what's about to happen. And again, this is gonna be such a big love letter to 40k fans. I would say I'm like, a, I'm, I dip in and out of 40k, but I was just in awe of bringing this incredible universe to life like I've never seen before in, in a video game. It's just incredible. If Show me this game when I was like 18, 17, 16 growing up, I would have flipped out. Does also get to a point where maybe the hordes are so big, you're not quite sure what's going on on screen. It's just, oh my God, stuff's flying at me. I'm swinging around, just hoping for the best. Um, but yeah, on the whole, just an incredible one hour experience. Uh, again, the yeah, next is I would say was the PC version that I played did struggle a little bit in terms of FPS, but again, optimization before launch will definitely be hopefully ironing that out. Fingers crossed. No solid release date still. I feel like it's dragging on a little bit now. Give me a month or at least like the start of I don't know some sort of concrete date, please. PvP, honestly, there's such an incredible um, hardcore audience for the first game that love PvP. They have to put in this game, especially with these visuals. It would just be incredible. And I think the gameplay and the, the melee combat is so much better in this game as well. If they can bring that over to multiplayer, I don't know. Maybe if this game does really, really well, maybe they add it in as like a, a big update. I don't, I don't know. Maybe if this game does well, they put it in the next game. I, I, yeah, so many question marks in, in terms of longevity and keeping this game in people's uh, peripheral vision, I guess you could say, it needs multiplayer, it needs something else. Cops, great, but it needs multiplayer. Hopefully an announcement is coming. So yeah, that concludes my preview. Uh, Focus, honestly, did an incredible job at this show, particularly two games, um, Expedition and Space Marine 2, were definitely my one of my highlights of the show. And uh, yeah, an incredible demo to play, incredible demo to experience and be one of the first people to play it as well. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.